in Amrita Nubha, chapter 6, devaluation of the word and OV number 47 or 48, we we'll just start from 47 and here it was told that the futility of wanting to destroy ignorance, that was the topic that was going on and here I think we saw this one last week. Thus, he who desires the destruction of ignorance should first of all try to destroy the space. As impossible it is to destroy the space. <laughs> Why? Space is existing in its own absence. Even more so, the ignorance. It is also existing in its own absence. So here, Thus, he who wants to destroy this non-existent ignorance should first try to peel off the skin bark of the space. Just as this is an impossibility, so it is impossible for the world to destroy ignorance. We have to remove ignorance, we have to remove ignorance. What are we removing ignorance by? By words. With, by which words? By words of wisdom. and. What are words, even if they are of wisdom or they talk about the self or they talk about God or they talk about the infinite consciousness, these are all words. But where have the words come from? They are children of ignorance. So, this is the, this is the understanding from the absolute standpoint. The whole point that the teacher here is trying to emphasize is don't create a journey where there is no journey. You are already that which you are seeking. This should be the premise. With this premise, if we begin any sadhana, then it's okay. If this premise is not there and you are just shooting in the dark, I think I'll do this, I think I'll do that, I think I'll do this, then it becomes a difficult proposition. By intellect and logic alone, the truth cannot be known. So what is this intellect and logic? It is your left brain. <laughs> it is your left brain. So what do we need? We need an integrated approach. Merely intellect and logic will not work. You need also devotion and faith. No amount of erudition will help the individual to progress on the spiritual path. So, even when we are studying texts like this or Shankar Bhashya, their faith and devotion is equally necessary. It's not just hair splitting logic or uh, something like that. Same thing is with your Japa. If you are chanting the name Ram or Krishna, Ashiva. 
there if we are just ram 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 if we do it will become mechanical you have yes you have worked out that ram is the only one and he can help you and he can take you out of this doldrum of life and you all the miseries will become uh, uh, you will become unaffected by them and therefore you are chant taking the name of the lord but if the devotion and love for ram is not there then consumation will not happen why only there why only in the spiritual path even with sleep if you don't love the sleep you will not be consumed by sleep relationships are the same love for the food is the same love for money is also the same in order to be consumed by something or someone you not merely thinking is required the love the faith the devotion the samarpan all that is the, that is the right brain so logic is the left brain emotional approach is the right brain where faith devotion etc comes all this must go hand in hand intellectual evolution by one's own effort leads only to intellectual arrogance but when the same intellectual evolution is because of the grace of the lord and bestowed because of devotion then the individual is able to utilize that intellect for the discovery of the divine in and through the total manifestation very rare few people are there mahatmas i'm not talking about people in the sense of ignorant people mahatmas very few mahatmas are there where they don't have a teacher they where they have not focused on the lord hmm they just went who am i and came to know see but for our us us lot we need to take as long as you feel you are an individual as long as you feel you are this body till then as long as you feel you are the mind as long as you feel you have to do something in order to be some sadhana has to be done whatever sadhana you are doing or not doing see it as the grace as the prompt of the uh, lord that way we will remain sane otherwise two big horns will be created i know this i know that i have done this i have done that i have realized to and then it takes long time to break that arrogance once satvik arrogance is very difficult to break because one is not available to he is he is a great person in his own eyes then the individual is able to utilize that intellect for the discovery of the divine in and through the total manifestation okay. here gnaneshwar maharaj is trying to refute the vain attempt of those vedantins who think that the so this this view that what does vedanta say vedanta say ekam eva dvitiya nanasti kinchana that is what vedanta says isn't it one without a second there is no other what does uh, ishwara advaivad say it says one without a second but the phenomena is also eternal and it is nothing but the divine in a sense so who is ishwara who is ishwara ishwara is that principle who knows that he is the parabrahma parmatma on one hand and on the other hand he is not enslaved by the prakriti he sees the prakriti as his own expansion so he's got the best of both 
he who the ishwara so yes we understand the parabrahma parmatma that it is one without a second but this is the phenomena is also endless phenomena is also nothing but that phenomena which is endless is also nothing but the expression is pervaded is not expression is pervaded by the divine and to develop this vision yes your eyes are seeing colors and forms your ears are hearing the sounds your nose is smelling the smell etc etc in spite of all these different uh, uh, stimuli or experiences that are coming to us that seem to be real for a common man a wise man lives in the same world as the common man but his vision of the world his take on the world is totally different what is that shift what is that makes him free and keeps us bound something to contemplate upon so that is so after coming to know the self the mahatma is still in this world and he sees the whole world as an expression of the divine in other words expression of the self alone of that parabrahma parmatma which well he can't even say that i am because he sees this body breath mind intellect equipment also as another part of the whole uh, expression he his identity has changed he is not only this body breath mind intellect is not only this body breath mind intellect here nyaneshwar maharaj is trying to refute the vain attempt of those vedantins who think that by the study of the scriptures alone or by intelligence or by much listening the truth can be attained satsang is required study of scriptures is required and shravanam mananam nididhyasan is required but if faith and devotion are missing out of that reverence is missing out of that respect is referring uh, is missing in the equation then it is a very difficult proposition unless constant ha huh, here he says unless constant love devotion and surrender to the lord for the lord and in the lord becomes a way of one's life spiritual evolution is not possible see what he is saying what swami ji is saying surrender to the lord for the lord in the lord what did sixth chapter bhagavad gita say uddharet atmanam atma uddharet atmanatmanam natmanam avasadayet raise yourself by yourself in yourself and not by anything else so there raise yourself raise the i by the i thinking about the i and nothing else and for majority people it will be a very difficult thing to oh what you this is crazy are you playing with my mind so we here it is lord surrender to the lord for the lord in the lord if this whole jagat is nothing but the lord whom are you seeking the lord see and when we see everything every thought every deed every emotion every understanding as an expression of that divine as a prompt of that divine then uh, every breath as a prompt of that divine then there is some possibility of further evolution otherwise we are just imagining we are collecting information and 
and merely collecting information, understanding, listening objectively the scriptures, knowing the answers to the various questions like a parrot, that is not equal to spiritual evolution. It has to be subjective. That subjectivity doesn't come by intellectualization. That subjectivity happens by devotion, surrender, faith. And that's why these two, a bird cannot fly with one wing. It, has, it needs two wings. Similarly, this eye has two, Ida, Pingla, left brain, right brain, yin, yang, logic and, logic and uh, devotion. So both are required. Sant Nyaneshwar continues to ridicule those who insist on wanting to destroy the ignorance. Tene sheli gada dohavi, gudgha vas pahavi, vada uni kachari karavi, vada uni kachari karavi, sanja velechi. He should milk the goat from pseudo teats at its neck or see the world through the knees or should try to bake a cake from the evening time, which is a pun in Marathi, uh, Marathi word for wheat flour also means evening time. Hmm. Such a person who wants to destroy ignorance should try to, this impossible ideas are presented by Nyaneshwar Maharaj. One, milk the goat from the pseudo teats in the neck. Well, huh? false teats in the neck. B, uh, he should try to look for the world, look at the world with his knees. That means, how will the knees look at, the knees will not look at the world, they will only feel the pain, that's all. <laughs> it will be a painful world if they had to see, but it is not possible because no eye is there. It's an impossibility. That much impossible it is to remove ignorance. And another example, when he is hungry, he should bake bread from the evening time, wheat flour, which is a pun on the word uh, sanja or broken wheat, which means wheat flour as well as sanja. In Hindi also, sanja means uh, uh, evening. And Sanja means evening or wheat, broken wheat flour. Broken wheat, Dharam wheat, something like that. As impossible it is for all the above three desires to be fulfilled, so is the desire to remove ignorance by the strength of the word an impossibility. Then what should we do? <laughs> if we can't remove the ignorance through word, then what should we do? Enjoy! <laughs> Enjoy! See the whole thing as the expression of the divine. These words that are coming to you, the understanding that is coming, the non-understanding that is happening, everything is expression of the divine. You remain untouched by it. Where you take something to be real, then there is a question of removing So who told you till you came to the scriptures, did you have a problem with the world? No. <laughs> so you came to the scriptures, scriptures introduced you to the word ignorance and they told ignorance is, is expresses as desire, desire expresses as the karma. 
and words are expressions of ignorance. You did not know this till you came to the scriptures. And when you think about it, yes, that is absolutely right. So everything that scriptures are saying is correct. Now the scriptures or the masters are saying that don't try to remove ignorance. Why? It's an eternal phenomena. On one hand, ignorance is an eternal phenomena which appears under certain circumstances. That's all for us. And what are the certain circumstances? The conscious has to express through this equipment, total, this equipment at the individual or the total level. This is the special circumstance. This expression of consciousness through the equipment itself is an expression of ignorance. <laughs> because equipment is coming from ignorance. We cannot stop it. So when we do neti neti, I am not this, I am not this, I am not this, our focus is not on the equipment, our first focus is not on the world, our focus is on the self. But what, what thereafter? After you have come to know the self, then what? Then are you going to continue to complain and run away from the world? No, we have to redefine, we have to... Uh, yeah, redefine the world. You have to revisit the world with these, with this new, uh, with this new identity, which is our real identity, which is of the self. And what is this self? This self is one without a second. See? The one who has come to know that self is one without a second, for him, this problem of phenomena is not there. The problem of phenomena is no longer there for that person. For other people who are looking at such a realized master, there may, there may be a problem. Oh, look at that, he is suffering from cancer. Look at that, he's, he has a broken leg. Look at that, he says he's realized but he's feeling hungry. All, all these are stupid conclusions by the observers. What is his disposition, the Mahatma's disposition? Hunger is also him, no hunger is also him. Cancer is also him. There is nothing other than him for the one who is established in the self. See? Continuing these examples, Jambahi Vatu Nirasu Tene Kadhava Bahuvasu Kalahuni Alasu Modala Pazava. He should squeeze out plenty of juice from yawning, mix some laziness in it, and offer it to a mud doll. Such a person should squeeze juice out of a yawning, add it to a, add a teaspoonful of laziness to it, and feed that juice to a clay doll. The effort to destroy the ignorance is as useless as, useless as the exercise explained above. <laughs> Our issue is as an individual not to accept everything as it is. You accept the roles that you are playing and then leave them after they are over. 
perform the role, let the role happen, then leave it. But no, why? Why is she going behaving like this? Why I, uh, I should not have done this? I should not have done that. I want to do this. So you become over enthusiastic about the role and because of the attachment. Look at your eyes. They illuminate the various colors and forms. They are not attached to any colors and form. Whatever comes in front of the eyes, they illuminate. They don't say, oh, uh, this laptop is beautiful, it should continue. This face is beautiful, it should continue forever. This, uh, uh, no. What is the purpose? What is the eye doing? It is illuminating without attachment. Mind is also the same way. Mind is not attached to any of the five senses. The five senses give the, keep giving the information. He keeps taking the information, but he doesn't say, I like my, I like this eye. I'm very close to the eye. I'm not close to the ear. I'm close to the ear. I'm not close to the smell, to the nose. He doesn't say that. Why only the senses? Mind is not even close to any thought. Any thought comes, it allows it to come and it allows it to go. We are talking about mind. Mind allows a thought to appear within its bosom, stay for some time and then go away. Which thought? Thoughts of the world. They come, they stay, they go away. Any other thought comes in the mind and goes away? Yes. I thought also comes, it stays and goes away with reference to the other thoughts. Mind is not disturbed. Catch this. Continuously this is happening at this moment also. Thoughts are coming, thoughts are staying, thoughts are going away. Who is getting disturbed? Not the I thought, not the subject, not the objective thought. Then who? <laughs> the ego. Who is it? It is a ghost. It doesn't exist. That one, the, that imaginary I which has imagined that all these thoughts are mine which has imagined that this mind alone is mine, which has imagined this body is alone is mine, then with that comes all the problems. And what is the truth? Truth is, neither the senses are affected by the stimuli, nor the mind is affected by the senses, nor the mind is affected by the, by the thoughts. At the equipment level, this is all going on from childhood till today, it is going on. Nothing is, con the, the equipment is not affected by the, whatever it is performing, whatever is happening to it. We use the words, my mind is disturbed. It's not, the mind is not disturbed. The idiot is disturbed, who has taken the mind to be I. The body is paining. Body cannot pain. Body has got no intelligence. Body has got no emotions. Body has got no emotions. Body cannot pain. It is inert. The effort to destroy the ignorance is as useless as the exercise explained above. To pāṭa pāṇī paratu 
पडली साऊली उलथू वारियाचे तांथू वळू सुखे ही शुड ट्राय टू मेक वॉटर फ्लो इन दी ऑपोजिट डायरेक्ट डायरेक्शन ट्राय टू चेंज द शॅडो अपसाइड डाऊन और स्पिन द थ्रेड आउट ऑफ एअर स्पिन द थ्रेड आउट ऑफ एअर ऑल दीज आर इम्पॉसिबिलिटीज ज्ञानेश्वर महाराज इज प्रेझेंटिंग अँड ही सेज इफ एनी वन ऑफ दीज यू आर एबल टू सक्सीड इन देन यू कॅन गो अँड रिमूव्ह इग्नोरन्स अँड इफ यू कांट डोंट ट्राय टू रिमूव्ह इग्नोरन्स बिकॉज इट्स अन इम्पॉसिबिलिटी he says or he should make the water in the river flow in the opposite direction from lower to upper level or he should turn the shadow upside down or he should spin thread out of a spin thread out of air and thus live happily if he can accomplish all these then surely he can destroy ignorance with the word if not shut up and keep quiet कंटिन्युईंग तो बागुला ते मारू प्रतिबिंब खोळे भरू तळहातीचे विंचरू केशा केश सुखे और ही शुड किल द गॉबलिन इमॅजिनरी स्केरी फिगर और फिल द रिफ्लेक्शन इन हिज फिल द रिफ्लेक्शन इन हिज पॉकेट और कोम द हेअर ऑन द पाम और and and in this way after accomplishing these tasks he can certainly remove ignorance by the word meaning all these are impossible so the thought that comes to our mind is if word is not able to remove ignorance then let's not use the words that's the thought coming no then why are we using so many words such a big book <laughs> it's all words only all the scriptures are words only all communication is in, is in possible through words only let's not speak the words let's not use the words try how long find out clock it how long you are able to sit quiet without using any words physical gross or subtle in your mind try because we haven't trained ourselves all thinking all japa any sadhana whether it is ashtanga yoga kundalini yoga kriya yoga japa sadhana veda uh, uh, studying of upanishads study of bhagavad gita in every sitting if it is not leading to silence if it is not leading to the self to the recognition of the self in that silence then we are missing the point then why are we using this to reformat the mind it is the misunderstanding about the ignorant ignorance and its effects we are trying to re define to reassess their position through the words which are expressions of ignorance alone when we have reassessed everything reformatted our mind then mind will not be obs- right now mind becomes over agitated stressed only because of over interaction uh, with these words or the world when we have reformatted correctly understood then what will happen then world will continue the words will also be there but we are not we are standing apart we don't take you know like for example you can do this experiment some day if you are in the habit of coming down from your bedroom in the morning and hello good morning 
every day you say good morning to your partner or to your husband to your children or whoever you do this experiment for one week you don't say it you have been saying it for so many years now you don't you are consciously not saying it see what will happen do this experiment there will be reaction from both sides after 2 3 days itself everyone will say mom what happened to you you are where's your cheery self gone why you are not saying hello did we do anything wrong and if they say oh mom's playing a game let's give her back what she is giving us they also remain silent you will go through some guilt in your mind oh i should not uh, what game am i playing with them they must be they, uh, what they don't care they don't they have not noticed that i am not saying uh, <laughs> good morning to them see so many words either they will come from outside or they will come from inside because you did that exercise to keep silent but you are we are not able to keep silent that silence is misunderstood not only by other people by you yourself you start doubting your own uh, position that why am i making them go through this and i should not have taken this exercise and uh, self talk going on idea was to quieten the self talk see so whether words are expressed or not expressed which is silence we must not be disturbed and that is only possible when we are at one meant with ourselves continuing घटा से नाही पण फोडू गगनाची फुले तोडू ससयाचे मोडू शिंग सुखे और ही शुड डिस्ट्रॉय द नॉन एक्झिस्टन्स ऑफ द पॉट प्लक द आकाश पुष्प गगनाचे फुले द प्लक द स्काय फ्लावर्स और ब्रेक द हॉर्न्स ऑफ अ हेअर कंटिन्यूइंग तो कापुरा ची मसी करू रत्न दीपी काजल धरू वांझे चे ले करू परणूर सुखे लेट हिम मेक इंक आउट ऑफ कॅम्फर कलेक्ट द सूट फ्रॉम द डायमंड लाईट और मॅरी द डॉटर ऑफ अ बॅरन वुमन सिमिलरली it is impossible to destroy ignorance ignorance can never know because one ignorance one can never know because it does not exist ignorance one cannot destroy kya ho gaya because it is not there therefore the more he tries to explain ignorance Sant Nyaneshwara gets more entangled in the explanation all the examples do not seem to be adequate to define the non existence of ignorance if this applies to ignorance will the same apply to the effect of ignorance the world of course to give validity to the world is as meaningless and futile as giving validity to the mother of the world called called ignorance the only way to get out of the entanglement of the world is to treat it like a shadow treat it like a shadow you know it is there who cares no second thought about it this is what i was telling you before we started this verse we have got entangled we have to disentangle 
वी हैव गॉट एंटैंगल्ड इन द वर्ल्ड हाउ डू वी नो द वर्ल्ड बाय वे ऑफ वर्ड्स एवरीथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड हैज अ वर्ड स्काय एयर फायर वॉटर अर्थ बॉडी ब्रेथ माइंड tree everything everything you cannot know anything in this world without a word in other words word itself has become the word the the, the world sirf ek beech mein l add kar diya unhone the and we have and we have taken those words or that word world to be real i have said it before also uh, maybe in this class or some other class i can't remember we have taken it to be real we have given validity to the mind we have given validity to the word which is an effect of the mind we have given validity to the world which is an effect of the mind and then having given validity we we become identified with it validity means importance means attachment so stop giving validity then whom do you give validity to whom do you give importance to to the conscious self to the ishwara and what is his position he supports everything he pervades through everything but he is independent of everything can you bring this disposition for yourself does ishwara try to remove the ignorance no <laughs> he says this this world this expression of the world it is the effect of my it is the expression of my potentiality that potentiality is mine only he is not trying to remove potentiality maya alone has become trigunatmika that trigunatmika alone has again gone and created the world so does the ishwara say i am not uh, my, uh, i have to remove the maya does lord shiva say i have to remove shakti from me myself in order to be me he doesn't then why are you trying to remove the mind why are you trying to remove the ignorance that ignorance is mind alone consciousness with objectivity is ignorance which is another word is mind are you trying to no here in ishwar advayavad we are not trying to remove anything everything is included in the divine so this can become a pointer for us that the entire world is supported by us by the divine principle it supports everything and nothing everything is an expression of nothing remember that <laughs> don't forget that so when we use these two words everything and nothing they are not opposite they are one is the child of the other everything is waking and dream nothing is deep sleep so divine supports everything and nothing it pervades everything and nothing 
but is independent of everything and nothing. From that point, from that point of Ishwara or that point of where he is unaffected, uninfluenced by everything and nothing, that itself is realization. Dukkha nivritti sukha prapti. As long as we are involved in thoughts and involved in words, involved in waking, dreaming, sleeping, dukkha. When you have come to the constant substratum, sukha, then whether the phenomena continues, who cares? Let the phenomena continue. I know my identity that I am not the Gaunatma, I am not the Mithyatma, I am the Mukhyatma. I have come to my correct uh, identity. And from that point, now Nyaneshwar Maharaj is trying to explain that how foolish it is to remove the ignorance. Having come to know himself as the infinite self for our benefit because his teacher told, so he is explaining or trying to explain and after some time he will also get frustrated. I use so many words to explain that which cannot be explained <laughs> and he will give up. <laughs> But the way he has put it across with so many examples, it, it makes us think that yes, as impossible all these things are, there may be just a possibility that ignorance is also difficult to or an impossibility to be to remove. So Nyaneshwar Maharaj struggles again to explain the nature of ignorance through more examples out of his fertile imagination. He is struggling to explain what ignorance because from a person who is established in the self, for him ignorance is not there. Phenomena is there but he, is, he's, he sees the phenomena he is pervading the phenomena, he is supporting the phenomena, but he is independent of the phenomena. How can you remove, how can you remove the phenomena of blueness of the sky? How can you remove the husband out of yourself, out of the man? Husband is the phenomena. How can you remove the husband from yourself? How can you remove the vision from your eyes? Vision is a phenomena. How can you? Something to contemplate on. Otherwise we just like a sheep mentality, we keep studying the scriptures because we have heard so much and we have heard so many. Uh, Now when we study the Upanishads and we study the, keep all this in mind. To avase ce ni sudhakare, posu patali chi chakore, mruga zali chi zara chare, gadu sukhe. Let him feed the chakora bird from the waters of a new moon or go for fishing in mirage waters. Continuing, 
Sant Nyaneshwara expresses his frustration in not being able to convince the listeners about the non-existence of ignorance. He is getting frustrated. He is coming here. frustration ka. How can a realized person not get frustrated? Mind is getting frustrated. It is the mind which is trying to explain. It is not the Atma which has to explain. Atma, can, Atma doesn't need to speak. Aho he kiti bolave, avidya rachili abhave, ata kai nashave, shabde yene. How long should we emphasize that the ignorance is non existent? Therefore, what can be destroyed by word if it does not exist? He says. How long should I go on embarrassing, uh, emphasizing the same point again and again, namely that avidya exists in its own absence and therefore with the word, what can one destroy? To say that by words of wisdom, in ignorance can be destroyed and then the Atma will be revealed is a meaning, meaningless statement. So what is wisdom then? Wisdom is not words. Our assessment of a wise person is if he has said some uh, uh, wonderful words, how, how wise he is or she is. Our scriptures, this is a common man's interpretation of wisdom. But what is wisdom? To be established in the self, as the self, for the self. That is wisdom. There are no, no uh, words required there. Then what are we trying? I am not the body, I am not the breath, I am not the mind, I am not the emotions, I am not the uh, waker, I am not the dreamer, I am not the sleeper, I am not the chota atma, I am the big atma, I am not the what? Gauna atma, I am not the mithya atma, I am the mukhya atma. All words, 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 words with no experience. <laughs> but no experience. Only intellectual appreciation. Only intellectual appreciation. Oh, that was wonderful. That lecture was very nice. That Mahatma's lecture was very nice. Kitna sundar bolte hain. Ah, kya hua? So to, 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 be, to live in this belief, it's only a belief. What is the belief? That first I have to remove ignorance, then the self will reveal itself. This is a wrong conclusion in, your, in our life. Self is not dependent on appearance or disappearance of ignorance. That is phenomena. Self is self-existing. Self is always. Self is constant. At this very moment it is. You are. Now find out what is coming and going and don't be disturbed by it. Legs shaking. Thirst coming, eyes blinking, mind thinking, intellect conceptualizing. Don't be disturbed by it. You remain as the constant. Rock of Gibraltar.
on whom all the waves of thoughts come dash and die away. You remain the witness. Atma, the self, is not a gain, is not a conclusion. If you do this, then Atma will be gained. It is not that way. After I remove this, then Atma will be there. No, it is not like that. Atma is self-existing. Atma is self-existing and that I am. This, while we are listening the lectures to these words, unless and until the right brain is not clicked in, faith, devotion, surrender, sharnagati, love for the self as you, as you are or for the divine, which is untouched. Until this, this feeling is not there, these, 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 these This, this faith, devotion, etc. is not there. Till then, we will remain in the loop of the mind. I was going to say, till then you will not come to know Atma. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> till then we will remain in the loop of the mind. So we have to allow the mind to go through whatever it is, it is programmed already and it is going through the waking dream deep sleep, it is going through in the waking, so every Sunday I have to listen to lecture, let it go through, you don't lose yourself to that. Not out of frustration, oh, enough man, no. Then what do you do? Joyfully. Another opportunity. Not even opportunity. Chalo dekhte aaj kya hai. No agenda. Continuing the thought. Nahi taya ce nashe shabda na ye praman dashe Andhari Andhara Zaise Nave Rupa. The words cannot destroy the absence and thereby attain the greatness of destroying ignorance, as darkness cannot be found even in darkness. For darkness is not a presence of something, but it is an absence. <laughs> Very nicely is put. Darkness cannot be found in darkness also, because it's not a material, it's not an object. Because what is darkness? It's absence. What is absence? That which does not exist. See, we are able to understand this only because we have the words to communicate. To come to the correct assessment of ignorance to come to the correct assessment of darkness. Otherwise we are living as slave of darkness or darkness means go to sleep. Darkness means fear. Darkness means ignorance. And then create fear and then live in that fear. Go on a, yesterday on our street, the street lights went off. And the 
when you come into the house we have a light which automatically comes up that also is fused the corner of our walsley avenue was pitch dark pitch dark only one lamp at the beginning of the street was light uh, a light and that light doesn't reach all the way here pitch dark what is this darkness <laughs> is it a material chalo yaar bade dino ke baad ekdam pitch darkness dekha hai chalo thoda i'll take it in my uh, uh, plastic bag and uh, store it you can't on destroying that which is not existing the word cannot acquire authority by destroying that which is not existing the word cannot acquire authority because the word itself is an expression of that which is trying to uh, destroy <laughs> the word is trying to destroy ignorance and word itself is a product of that ignorance zara sochiye just as even when one enters darkness one cannot possess the darkness as an object for darkness is not the presence of something which can be proved to exist darkness is not darkness is what its absence of light ignorance is what absence of knowledge which knowledge not word knowledge not thought or knowledge not conceptual knowledge knowledge according to when we say absence of knowledge is ignorance absence of knowledge means self forgetfulness s e l f capital self forgetfulness you are not knowing yourself completely therefore you are imagining yourself to be someone how what are you imagining yourself you are imagining yourself to be mithyatma and gaunatma why you are doing imagining yourself to be that because you have forgotten that you are in essence the mukhyatma then what do you have to do oh, be that when where how uh, right now <laughs> not when where how what do i have to do nothing you are already that shabd or words can neither remove ignorance nor reveal the truth very very important अविद्येची नाही जाती तेथ नाही म्हणतया युक्ती जेवी दुपारी कावाती आंगणीची या एसेन्शली द इग्नोरन्स डज नॉट एक्झिस्ट टू प्रूव्ह इट्स एबसेन्स बाय लॉजिक इज लाईक पुटिंग अ लॅम्प इन द यार्ड ऑफ यार्ड ॲट नून आवर्स avidya is not something that exists as an object with shape etc therefore no amount of logic can destroy it just as a lamp placed in front of the house at noon is useless to illuminate anything it can neither remove darkness nor it can shed light in the same way the word has neither the power to destroy ignorance nor the power to reveal atma tatva which is self effulgent the only thing to do is to keep quiet <laughs> maunam vyakhyat the only thing to do is to keep quiet to bask in the divine silence to that extent the divine truth is revealed to us and we want to work it out we want to imagine what if what if what happens what well, if i come to know what will happen to the other people 
I want to realize with everyone together, you know, go, go, maro ja ke. We can't keep quiet. That's our problem. So the word can neither remove ignorance nor it can reveal the truth. Then what to do? Keep shut. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your mind shut. Expose yourself to silence as often as possible. That silence is available between two thoughts throughout the day. Try to expand it. Try to expand it. The only thing to do is to keep quiet, to bask in the divine silence. And that silence is not inert. That silence is not void. That silence is known by someone. The silence is pervaded by the presence. And the nature of that presence is divine. Expose your, expose. Expose, not the self, expose the mind to the silence. Presence is always there. It has never come and gone. Is the mind which becomes multi-pointed and zero-pointed. So make it zero-pointed as often as possible. And make it bask, revel in the divine presence that is always Now, Sant Nyaneshwara proceeds to establish the second principle that Shabda has no entry in Atma Gyan, just as the word has no relevance in removal of ignorance, so also it has no role in the establishment or revelation of Atma Gyanam. Both are untouched by the word. Both are untouched by the word. Na Pairita Seti Zeki Sambhaganiya Zati Tayala Ze Paravdi Zodi Ahe To go for harvest without prior sowing is a matter of shame. Those who go to gather the harvest without having sown the field, what else would they harvest except ridicule and shame? Bhavaniya Chya Anga Zene ke lai valagha to na karita chi uga ghari hota. Again, some examples are being taken. He who has climbed the space has indeed done nothing but was merely sitting at home. Paniya vari vari khu hota ke ase vise khu. As rainfall is meaningless on the river or ocean, so also the use of word is useless to destroy the ignorance. When, when rain falls on the river or ocean, it means nothing. In the same way, the use of the word and logic is useless to destroy ignorance. Maap maapane shlaghe zant akash mahu narige tap pahata vauge dipache janma. So long as the measure is not used for measuring the emptiness of space, but for material such as milk, wheat, etc., it has glory. The lamp has meaning only in darkness, but it is useless in daylight. 
in other Swami ji says here that any measurement has meaning only with reference to something that it can be measured that can be measured but if the measurer tries to assess the emptiness of space it is not worthy of appreciation similarly the lamp serves its purpose only with reference to darkness the birth of the lamp will be futile if we were to show darkness its only purpose is to illumine so same way the words the if we take the words as the lamp they are only to illuminate the darkness so what are we trying to and what is darkness again another world and what is the world through which we are trying to understand darkness or understand ignorance it itself is the product of that ignorance and darkness so here what nyaneshwar maharaj is saying is that maximum what the word can do is make you understand it can illuminate it uh, not the self it cannot the word cannot remove darkness but can make you understand the futility of removing the darkness see words if i have a word in my mouth it is always with reference to something always with reference to something just as we saw that in the previous one of the ovs just as a lamp in the midday cannot illuminate the darkness nor can it illuminate the sun similarly the word cannot illuminate or remove the darkness nor can it illuminate the self reveal the self it's important why is it important word word is a changing phenomena it is limited it is finite it has a beginning and an end how can that which is finite reveal the infinite the infinite self the atman think and another thing here he says is the birth of the lamp will be futile if it were to show darkness can from the lamp lamp's nature is light lamp's nature is light can it show darkness i'm not talking about removing darkness can it show darkness from take the position of the lamp what does what is the nature of lamp heat and light illumination can it oh i am taking the lamp and i'll show you how dark it is outside or how dark that room is the moment you go there <coughs> so can the lamp show us the darkness not possible because what is the nature of the lamp only to illuminate that's all gaganachi rasasoe jeevhaze aroguzaye 
मग रसना हे हो हे आडनाव की इफ द टंग इज यूज टू टेस्ट स्पेस देन इट इज कॉल्ड रसना फॉर नेम सेक कैन अ पर्सन टेस्ट स्पेस बाय द टंग इफ नॉट हाउ कैन इट बी कॉल्ड रसना द नेम रसना गिवन टू द टंग इज ओनली अ टाइटल इट हैज नो मीनिंग कंटिन्यूइंग अगेन अनदर एग्जाम्पल कैन अप ओके नभे ते वल्लभे आहे वपण का शोभे खाता के गाभे न खाता गेले विल द साइंस ऑफ अ लिविंग हजबंड एडॉन अ विडो द कोर ऑफ अ प्लांट एंड बींग स्पेस इज कंज्यूम्ड विदाउट ईटिंग so wow, what wonderful examples he is taking the second one especially here he says the commentary says if a widow wears all the saubhagya lakshana symbols used to indicate that the husband is alive will they bring the dead back dead man back to life similarly eating the core of a banana tree which is only empty space means not eating at all <laughs> it's a delicacy sthul sukshma kavan eku padartha na prakashi arku pari ratri vishayi aprayojaku zalachi ki the sun may be able to illuminate all the objects be they small or big however can it ever illuminate darkness this example we have seen it before that from the sun's point of view there is no darkness possible whatever nyaneshwar maharaj is endeavoring to tell us is to change our vision from individuality to that of the vision of totality of the lord only then will life its endeavor struggles and contradictions fall into the correct perspective so long as importance is given to the study of scriptures understanding removal of ignorance etc one continues to live a relative existence and is vulnerable to all its limitations it is meaningless so he goes on hammering home this point repeatedly from different angles with the help of different similes so get this and does it mean we should not study study but don't be obsessed about it so long as importance is given to the study of scriptures understanding removal of ignorance etc one continues to live a relative existence and as a result is conducive vulnerable to all its limitations therefore sadhana is required and what is the sadhana exposing the mind to silence that is required so he goes on so th- this is the uh, this is the shift which i told you before in two three verses before that we have to change our vision from individuality to the totality or the from absolute there is no vision absolute is absolute either you vision will be from totality the the gods are looking at their own expressions acha maine ye create kiya hai mere se andar mere se aaya hai just like you are looking acha these thoughts are coming in my mind this is funny i never think like this how come they are coming oh these hair are growing out of my me Oh, I thought they were black. Now they are becoming white. Apne apni ho raha hai. Ap emotions are coming, thoughts are coming, confusions are coming, doubts are coming, clarity is coming. 
all that is it's happening to you only it's coming from you only it's not other than you one is the vision of individuality where differences sense of otherness is the norm and the other is the total vision where unity is the norm um sahasra shir sha purusha sahasra aksha sahasra pad that vision that is sahasrar if you practice kundalini come to sahasrar दिठी पाहता काय फफे परी निधे ते तवन देखवे चेता ते न संभवे मनवनिया वॉट कैन द आईज नॉट सी इन वेकिंग स्टेट कैन दे सी स्लीप बिकॉज द फंक्शन ऑफ सींग इज पॉसिबल ओनली इन द वेकिंग स्टेट सिमिलरली वन कैनॉट अवेकन एन ऑलरेडी वोकन अप पर्सन मेरे को तो एग्जाम्पल्स ही बड़े मजे मजे लगते हैं वी कैन सी एवरीथिंग इन द वेकिंग स्टेट विद अवर आईज देन वाई डू वी नॉट सी अवर ओन स्लीप स्लीप कैनॉट बी सीन बाय द आईज इन द सेम वे यू कैनॉट अवेकन सम वन हु इज ऑलरेडी अवेक वेन द आत्म तत्व इज ऑलरेडी इस्टैब्लिश्ड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ डिविनिटी डज नॉट नीड टू बी इस्टैब्लिश्ड अगेन सो यू वेक अप once you have woken up from sleep dream you don't need to be woken up again from the dream you are you are up already similarly in the waking one who has woken up from the from this changing world to the constant uh, self he doesn't need to be woken up again you are already the woken up recognize that's all where will you recognize in silence don't try to ideate don't try to work it out don't try to logicalize don't try to see it as some experience don't try to see it as an experience which is something other than you and one day it will become one with you no you are the experience in essence you are it that which is can never be denied and that which is not can never be established simple rule that which is you can never deny what is you are you cannot deny yourself that i am not you can deny something you can deny the waker you can deny the uh, dreamer you can deny the sleeper you can deny the uh, gaunatma and the mithyatma but you can never deny the mukhyatma because that's the constant state and that's what you are and that is your direct experience even at this moment you choose not to be that continuously consciously with awareness you choose to be uh, uh, associated with the mind and in the mind the waker dreamer sleeper the body breath mind intellect and all that we are given more validity to that than who we essentially are be that and let this all go on therefore words have their limitations once the pole vaulter jumper has vaulted over the bar he lets go of the pole before he goes over the other side you know in these olympics they have this high jumper they take the rod 
they run 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 they dig the pole into the into the ground they use the flexibility of the pole to raise themselves very high and once they have gone once they have gone across the bar till then they keep holding on the the pole to give them the leverage and once they see that they are completely on the other side they let go of the they let go of the uh, the pole same same way here uh, where are we ha huh. same way he who has developed self confidence atma vishwasa should have the courage to drop the whole world so use the world to raise yourself high and then have the courage to drop the world just like that pole water used the pole to raise himself up and when he saw the other side he left the pole so how do we use the world every moment every experience that is coming to us every stimuli that is coming to us is only take it as a help of the divine to push us to come to help us to come back to our essential nature see the ephemeralism of it ephemerality of it see the changing nature of it what are you holding on to children to possessions to the body to the house to the wealth to the car to the investments to the memories what is their nature what will happen to memories once you get old you can't even remember them you you have not been able to hold on to the body it's continuously changing have you been able to hold on to your children no they have got their own mind now they are on their own so what have we been trying we are trying to hold the changing world of which this body mind breath intellect is also one part we are trying to hold on to it thinking we are this but it cannot be held recognize this all we have to do is recognize we don't have to remove anything we cannot remove anything how can we remove the world which does not exist then what do we have to do not do what we have to understand that this world is just as it is it's a phenomena don't invest more than required in this phenomena then where do we invest invest in self contemplation similarly who has developed self confidence atma vishwas should have the courage to drop the whole world ha huh? yeah, he says na karmana na prajaya dhane na tyage nahi ke amritatva manushu immortality is gained by one who gives up the desire for ch- children desire for wealth and desire for name and fame in this world we are thus advise not to do tyaga of tyaga that is discard renunciation and hold on to the world for support no don't give up renunciation you cannot renounce renunciation you have to renounce the <laughs> the world putreshna lokeshna and vitteshna these three we have to that is where our desires are so in this manner nyaneshwar maharaj is guiding our mind to this impossibility of removing ignorance through words or realizing the self through words remember self is also a word if you are only stuck on it both are impossibilities for 
the self is self existing and that you are om purnamada purnamidam purnaat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om हरिओम